threats that shut down a pride event at a Southeast Portland Elementary School. Our Lisa Balick joins us live from Atkinson Elementary. Lisa, this was not an official school sponsored event that got shut down. Yeah, that's right. It was actually supposed to be after school funded by a grant from Lines for Life, the nonprofit here in Portland that helps with suicide prevention. But organizers at the school decided that the threats were real and the risk too great. Some parents and other supporters of the Pride event gathered outside Atkinson Elementary School at pickup time when the celebration was supposed to have started. Increased security outside and inside the school today after the celebration of the students' plan for after school was canceled. Multiple threats coming in on social media, phone calls, emails from people opposed to the event, many were told had no direct connection to the school. Threats aimed at the school and staff members. The counselor who set up the event leads the Gender and Sexuality Alliance Club. The event was open to all students and families. Part of the reason we want to show them all of this uh, love and show them the celebration uh, of their identities is that uh, kids uh, need to feel that they're safe and supported. Uh, trans and non-binary kids are at much greater risk of uh, harming themselves if they don't have those kind of supports. Portland school leaders say, quote, they denounce the intimidation and harassment that led us to this point. Although prudence required this particular event be canceled, we will continue to plan, host, and support events that celebrate individual identities, promote diversity, and lift up our LGBTQIA plus community members. Parents who support the event say it's important to honor their children's identities, especially at a young age. As the parent of a queer and non-binary kid, I know that they walk through this world where they're not always recognized, they're not always celebrated, and I uh, want them to feel like they're safe and supported. And this was a uh, one occasion to do that. Now, some of the families who are involved with the event say that they will still have a celebration sometime this spring, but clearly not on campus. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Quinn.